Tonight, we are flying a Cessna 152 on an IFR flight plan in IMC conditions. We will demonstrate how to navigate in IFR conditions using only VOR navigation on an analog instrument panel. We will demonstrate how to fly a VOR approach on the flight simulator. We are flying from Jerome County Airport to Jocelyn Field slash Magic Valley Regional Airport in Twin Falls, Idaho. The flight visibility at Jocelyn Field in Twin Falls was one statute mile which is just above the legal minimum of one half mile to fly the VOR approach. Pilots must be sure to adhere to personal weather minimums when flying, even if flying in IFR conditions. We would not recommend flying an instrument approach to minimums unless properly trained, but it can be useful to practice flying instrument approaches on a simulator just in case weather conditions deteriorate or a pilot must make an emergency landing in low visibility, IMC conditions. We were cleared to fly on the Victor 484 airway, which is on the 349 degree radial of the Twin Falls Vortac. We have tuned the OBS knob on the CDI needle to a heading of 169 since that is the 180-degree reciprocal of the 349-degree radial and we want the CDI needle to show a 2 indication flying towards the 169-degree radial of the Twin Falls Vortac as shown. Our goal will be to fly towards the 169-degree radial until passing directly over the Twin Falls Vortac, then turning left to fly on the 068 radial and then circling back to intercept the final approach course of 248. Notice as the CDI needle suddenly deflects to the right and the 2 slash from indicator now shows a from indication as illustrated by the triangle flipping upside down. This means we have just passed over the Twin Falls Vortac and can begin our turn to the left to track the 068 radial of the Twin Falls Vortac. We tune the OBS knob on the CDI needle to a heading of 068. Since the CDI needle is fully deflected to the left, we are to the right of course and need to fly back to the left towards the needle to get back on course. We now make a left turn to intercept the 068 radial of the Twin Falls Vortac until the CDI needle centers. Since we are currently flying away from the Twin Falls Vortac, the 2 slash from indicator shows a from indication as illustrated by the upside down triangle on the CDI. In the profile view of the approach plate, we can see that the waypoint of XULXU is 3 miles from the Twin Falls Vortac. We will know when we are at the XULXU waypoint once the CDI needle is centered on a heading of 248 and the distance measuring equipment, abbreviated DME, is indicating we are 3 miles from the Twin Falls Vortac. Now that we are just about centered on the 068 radial, we will tune the OBS knob to the final approach course of 248. We now begin our turn to a heading of 248 to intercept the final approach course. The minimum descent altitude for this VOR approach is 5,000 feet and the minimum visibility requirement is one half mile as shown. The decision altitude is 846 feet AGL and is equal to the minimum descent altitude less the touchdown zone elevation for the airport. The pilot must be sure not to descend below the minimum descent altitude until the runway is in sight. The blue blinking light to the top of the instrument panel indicates we are at the outer marker for runway 26 which in this case is roughly 5 miles from the runway. Outer markers typically identify the final approach fix and are situated 4 to 7 nautical miles from the runway threshold. One important point about this VOR approach is that it has a slight offset. Notice how the approach course of 248 is not perfectly aligned with the runway. The precision ILS approach for runway 26 has a final approach course of 258. This VOR approach is a non-precision approach and is not perfectly aligned with the runway. Just before touchdown, our heading will be closer to the actual approach course of 258. If we are unable to get visual sight of the runway, we must execute the missed approach. Finally, we get visual sight of runway 26 at Jocelyn Field in Twin Falls. 
We have completed our pre-landing checklist and have the flap settings configured for landing. Notice how our heading is now closer to 258 just before touchdown, which is a slight offset of the VOR approach course of 248. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training videos and aviation educational topics.